Logan here at Me and McGee Market, and today we're going to talk about something the wooden utensil. It has got so many benefits over other products. These particular wooden utensils that we have uh, started with our relationship with Serenity Farm Bread up in Leslie. They're, they're about an hour and a half away from us. Long time business, great artesian, old world sourdough. Amazing products. The same group has got the wooden utensils. We brought them in a few years back and started using them. Everybody seemed to really love the character and uniqueness of them. With that, started figuring out there's a lot of reasons to go with wood over metal or even plastic. It doesn't scrape the pans, it doesn't tear things up, it doesn't leach toxic chemicals into your food while you're cooking, anything like that. And they're pretty and made right here in Arkansas. The ways that I use these first and foremost is cooking. I use this one right here, it's my favorite thing. You've got a lot of control, it, it's just easy to cook with. Love this piece right here. As far as cleaning them, that's the first thing that people kind of get uh, concerned about. With cleaning them, nothing to be scared of. The best way to do it is just soap, water, something like the, a little bit rough like the back of a sponge. You put the, you know, Dawn soap, scrape it up, clean it, let it air dry, rinse it off, there you go. There, there's nothing to it. I wouldn't recommend soaking it in water, putting it in a dishwasher, although a, a lot of ours have been ran through the dishwasher and they've held up really, really good, other than uh, they've lost a little bit of the color. The way to condition them is when they start losing that color. Uh, so I'll give you an example. This one has been used, so it's a lot lighter, and this one has been conditioned. So that, that gives you, this is both hickory, it's a nice hard wood, and so the, the way to condition them is super easy. Our friends, our, our apiary that we've worked with for, for years is Lake in the Willows. They have got a mineral oil beeswax that we condition the wood with. They use it for wooden cutting boards, but we're gonna show you how to do condition one of one of these uh, big spatula types. You see that it's kind of dry looking and so a little bit just kind of gets worked in. And I tell you what, for a paper towel, it's even easy just to go ahead and use your finger. When you use your fingers, you can feel the difference between when it's slick or when it is still dry. It's food grade mineral oil and beeswax. I'm not worried about, about anything on, on my skin. So a little bit just all over the nooks and crannies, but you can definitely get a good feel of where it's dry. You can even hear the difference. Where it's dry and where it has been conditioned. And you don't use as much by just getting it on your fingers. And so this is probably the hardest part on a piece like this, which something that's super, super easy. This one makes a little bit more work just to get in all the little grooves as they've hollowed out that dip. And what we'll do is we'll take the excess wax and mineral oil off with a paper towel. And I like a paper towel for the ease of cleanup. You can just chunk it. But you can see that is taking it from a really dull, dry condition into much, much prettier. Brought out the grain and the wood. And that's that easy. Now, as far as conditioning, that could be done just kind of, you can look at it, but every, every month or two, something like that. The other thing would be is if you start getting little burrs or where it flares out on the bottom, which it'll do, is a really fine grain sandpaper. And you just will hit the ends where there's a rough spot, smooth it out. Again, this is, this this is not intimidating or, or shouldn't be. It is very easy and straightforward, but a little bit of the roughness will go away. And you wanna use a fine grain because the more coarse it is, it'll put grooves in it and it won't be smooth. So we've gone a super fine grain and then all the little burrs for the most part are completely gone. And we'll take a little bit of the mineral oil beeswax put in there where we've exposed new wood. 
I typically let it sit for a while when I do this, and then I come back and, and wipe the excess off. And these will last for a very, very, very long time if you do this regularly. A lot of the nostalgia with this comes from memories of, of grandparents and great-grandparents who had the wooden utensils. So I think that's why we sell so many of them during the holidays is just the memories that these little things encompass. So thank you for watching. I hope I gave you tips that you can use at home and not to be intimidated by such a cool tool.